Arsenal. What's going on, Edmonton, Alberta? The president of Maximum Fighting Championships, Mr. Mark Pavlich. Jevin Marshall and Garrett Nybacken. First up, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta. The winner of the first meeting between these two young warriors, Jevin Marshall.
Diego Lima. One hundred seventy point six pounds for Diego Lima. Ladies and gentlemen, definitely put your hands together. This should be a really exciting and fast-paced fight tomorrow night. Jamie Tony taking on Diego Lima. What's here in Edmonton? Anticipated rematch in the history of Maximum Fighting Championship. Both men out to settle the issue from their draw at MFC 28 Supremacy. Thomas Denny against Sheldon Westcott. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up first, he is truly one of the most colorful characters in the sport today and a cast member on the reality TV show Bully Beatdown from Centennial, Colorado. Please welcome Thomas Wildbound. and without a doubt, one of the MFC's most popular fan favorites looking for the biggest victory over his career to date from the City of Champions, Edmonton, Alberta, Sheldon Westcott. 165.8 pounds for Sheldon Westcott. Oh, this should be a thriller. The Thomas Denny against yeah. Sheldon Westcott. Right here, guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to talk to my man, the wild man, Thomas Denny. Thomas, I'm going to tell you, one of the most wildly veterans in the MMA sport today. I have never seen you foam at the mouth more for a rematch than what's going down tomorrow night. MFC 28 did not go the way you anticipated. Why don't you go ahead and send out the blueprint of what you intend to do tomorrow night? I've been in this game 13 years. I've only had one rematch. And like I said, in that rematch, I'm going to knock the guy out and watch the first round. So I'm going to see. Now, those are some strong words. But I'm going to turn it over to the fan favorite, Sheldon Westcott. Sheldon, once again, you get to will and thrill your fans here in Edmonton, Alberta. Almost one quarter of the fans at MSC 28 came strictly to see you. What is your battle plan going in tomorrow, MFC 30? Knock me out. I've got a little bit too much weight. One round, it's over. And next up is the co-main event for MFC 30 up close and personal in the welterweight division. A rematch more than four years in the making. Pete Spratt against Marcus Davis. Coming up first, ladies and gentlemen, he is one of the most devastating strikers that the sport has ever seen. The holder of the MFC's 2009 Knockout of the Year from the Alamo City, San Antonio, Texas, Pete the Secret Weapon Spread. 170.6 pounds for the Secret Weapon Pete Spratt. And his opponent, without a doubt, one of mixed martial arts living legends. Every time out, he is an incredibly exciting fight from Bangor, Maine. The Irish Hand Grenade, Marcus Davis. 170.1 pounds for the Irish Hand Grenade, Marcus Davis. Up here, eyes up. Eyes up. Look at these two ladies and gentlemen, the epitome of physical conditioning personified. Now it's going to be an explosive matchup tomorrow night live at the Mayfield Conference Center. Pete Spratt taking on Marcus Davis. Pete, let's go ahead, let's talk to the secret weapon first. Pete, fresh off of the victory, MFC 29, Debbie Deeds, a nice little arm bar submission, but now you get an opportunity to settle the score of a rematch four years in the making. What are your thoughts? Uh, I think it's going to be a, a great fight. Uh, I love Marcus as well. Uh, Probably his career since we fought. So, I mean, it's going to be a great fight. Uh, we're both professionals. We're we'll here to put on a great show. And Marcus and I are definitely going to put on a great show. Thank you very much. All right, let's bring the Irish hand grenade in here from Bangor, Maine. Now, this is.
is a man who needs no introduction anywhere in the civilized world. MFC 29, Buick Curtis DeMars held nothing back. Now let me ask you a question. Are we going to see the same kind of fire in this highly anticipated rematch? You know, uh, every time that I fight, uh, I don't just come to fight, I come to entertain. And I know that he does too. Uh, we're both uh, veterans. Uh, we're both, uh, you know, uh, tough alumni. We've been through a lot of the same stuff. We've been through a lot of the same camps. We're familiar with each other's styles. Things like that make for exciting fights, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a great, exciting fight, and uh, they had our own line for everybody. Mirror images of one another inside the ring. Good luck to you tomorrow. In the lightweight division, two phenomenal competitors, Brian Cobb taking on Drew Pickett. Ladies and gentlemen, up first making his MFC debut, a highly accomplished amateur wrestling star who has now become one of the top ranked lightweights in the world today from Bakersfield, California, Brian the Bandit Cobb. 155.4 pounds for the bandit Brian Cobb. And his opponent, he is one of the most talented jiu-jitsu practitioners in the entire sport of mixed martial arts.